During ACR 2022, we had uh, two important studies uh, at the bio, in the biobarker session to uh, predict better uh, the outcome of the patient receiving immunotherapy. One was the investigation of poly-mutated tumors in all tumor types, and the other one was uh, mutational burden uh, assessed in all tumor types with a combination of immunotherapies. I am very pleased that I've been able to present the activity of nivolumab in uh, PD-1 mutated tumors. Uh, it has been a clinical trial that was running in France from 2016. The main idea was to investigate because we had controversial uh, data about uh, tumor mutational burden and polymutations as a biomarker for activity of uh, immunotherapy. We investigated because TMB is not approved in Europe specific mutations and found out that the mutations that were specifically in one part of the gene were able to predict uh, the activity of nivolumab and was 100% concordant with high tumor mutational burger. We observed a response rate of 50% uh, that are very long uh, term uh, control of the disease in these patients and a reduction of the death uh, of patients by 90% in that group. And so it's quite amazing data and we are very pleased to announce that it was co-published at the same time in Cancer Discovery. In the same session at ASCR 2022, in the biomarker sessions, our colleagues presented the result of Checkmate 848 that investigated uh, the combination of Fipilimumab plus Nivolumab or Nivolumab alone in all types all cancer types that were having a high TMB and that clinical trial was very interesting because the patients were uh, explored both for the tumor uh, tum mutational burden and the blood tumor mutational burden assessed by Foundation One uh, Medicine uh, CDX uh, uh, sequencing. And it was very important data because they showed for the first time that the tumor mutational burden uh, assessed in the tumor itself was a better predictor of response to immune checkpoint blockade, especially ipilimumab and nivolumab, compared to blood tumor mutational burden uh, in all type of all cancer types, with a difference of 35% in high tumor mutational burden in the tumor compared to blood, only 25%. And I think it's a very important take for the future of the development of these biomarkers uh, to be able to uh, differentiate the patient that has discordances between blood and tumoral TMB. So the take home message for me of the ACR for the biomarker is that uh, PD-1 blockade is very efficient uh, for poly mutated tumors that all have a very high TMB of more than 100. And uh, we had also very good data showing that combination of PD-1 and CTLA-4 blockade was very efficient in high tumor mutational burden assessed in the tumor.